In this video, we're going to take a look at numeric expressions in Python. Now, here's an example where I think using the Python console could actually be useful. Let's type Python here, and we get this Python prompt. In Python, we can form arbitrarily complicated numerical expressions. So, for example, we could do 7 times 4 plus 3, and that will be evaluated by the Python interpreter. And we could assign the value of that in a program to a variable, or we could print it out directly or whatever. Of course, we can use floating point numbers, so we can say 1.2 times 4, or 1.2 times 4.3 or whatever. And the result is now a float, a floating point type, instead of an int. So it's a type that has a decimal point in it. Some parts of the world use a comma here instead of a point. I think much of Europe here would use a comma, but in the UK and in the USA, for example, we use a point there. We can also do division. So let's try 5 divided by 3, and we get back. 1.666. Notice that the division operator is this forward slash. And of course you can do subtraction. Let's try 4.2 minus 2. In some programming languages, if you divide an integer by an integer, the remainder by default will just get discarded. So this would then give us 1 and it would discard the remainder of 2. You can see that Python doesn't do that. If you want integer division in Python, you want the kind of division where you actually want to discard the remainder, you have to use a double slash like this. So 7 divided by 3, that gives us 2, and it just discards the remainder. The ordinary kind of division works like you'd expect. Now we can also use brackets. So let's try doing 2 times 3 plus 2. That gives us 8. We could also try 2 plus 2 times 3, which also gives us 8. So these expressions are both seemingly ambiguous because this could mean 2 times 3 and then add on 2. It could also mean 2 multiplied by 3 plus 2, which would be, well, 3 plus 2 is 5, and 2 times 5 is 10. That would give us a different result. However, some operators have higher precedence in programming languages generally than other operators. So this multiplication operator has a higher precedence than plus. Division also has a higher precedence than plus or minus. And that means these expressions actually aren't ambiguous. Because in ambiguous looking expressions like this, the higher precedence operator will be evaluated first. So that means in these expressions, the multiplication gets evaluated before you do the addition. However, I would recommend trying not to create ambiguous expressions. It makes the code easier to read. If you put brackets in, so that it's really clear what you intended. So instead of writing 2 plus 2 times 3, I could put brackets around the multiplication to show that that's actually what I intend. They aren't necessary, but they, they can make expressions easier to read, especially for new programmers. So you can see that if I put the brackets in a different place, then of course I get a different result. So if I put them around 2 plus 2, I will get 12 instead. There are some more arithmetical operators and logical operators that we will see as we go through the course. For the moment, I would recommend just practicing this. Create some expressions using the two types of division operator, subtraction, multiplication, and addition. And try putting brackets into more complicated expressions just to see what they do. If you just try everything out, once or twice, that's enough practice of this for the moment, I think. 
And of course, the point of this is that you can use these in actual programs. You could set a variable equal to 2 plus 2 times 3, for example. And as we'll see, these values could also be variables instead of numeric literals. This is a free video from my Python and machine learning course. I'm uploading some videos from the start of the course to get you started with Python. The full course is absolutely huge and teaches you Python and the basics of machine learning and artificial intelligence with a ton of exercises and solutions. Please click the link in the description for the full course.